apoplectic to the point of incoherence is how I get when I look at something that was just put out on the website at the end of June from the government of Canada, uh, basically taking you back to Bill C-38 and C-45, the 2012 omnibus budget bills that wrecked the Fisheries Act, the Navigable Waters Protection Act, the Environmental Assessment Act, and changed the NEB's role. So we all remember that. Uh, the Liberals came in saying, well, we're going to consult on this, and oh my god. So they launched four different cons consultation exercises. One under the Transport Committee to look at the Navigable Waters Act, one under the Fisheries Act to look, I mean, the Fisheries Committee to look at the Fisheries Act, and then two really expensive, high-level expert panels. An expert panel that traveled Canada, had thousands of people participating on environmental assessment, chaired by Canada's former Commissioner for Environment and Sustainable Development, the other, that was a panel on environmental assessment. The panel on the NEB included the person who's the CEO of the Canadian Pipeline Association yeah. and industry people, and they gave a fantastic report that said the National Energy Board has no credibility. It should be renamed the Canadian the Commission for Energy Transmission, and it shouldn't be in Calgary anymore. I mean, it was just one thing after another, terrific reports. So then they took those reports that had taken months and months of consultation, and put them out on the website for more consultation. And then they took all of that and put out something that retreats from all the good things. Oh. And it's a 23-page paper, and it's not, and I, I tell you, I, I, as I dig into this and realize that after all the expert panels told them the NEB should not do environmental assessments, they're saying the NEB is going to do environmental assessments, but within a streamlined process where there's a central agency that guides blah, blah. And the Navigable Waters Protection Act, they're going to keep what Harper did. Navigable waters, the NEB, and environmental assessment are going to be frozen in time in Harper era politics. This document was tabled at the end of June, and the deadline for public comment is August 28th.